Okay, welcome to our second lesson. Last time we covered the expansion of space. We showed that there is some evidence, so not completely compelling, that space is getting bigger, as in the simulation, and that the universe does not always look the same. It seems to be changing with time. We didn't quite prove that the result came from a Big Bang, but that was certainly suggestive. But the Big Bang theory makes some predictions, some predictions we can go and look through and test. And so in today's lesson, we're going to go through and try to figure out the consequences of the Big Bang Theory and see if these are realized in nature. And the Big Bang Theory has two great triumphs. One is the idea that the universe should be full of radiation back when it was young. And then the other one is that when the universe was young, it, react, it, it acted as a giant nuclear reactor and should have produced elements. We can test these two things. So we'll talk about the two great triumphs of the Big Bang Theory, but then we'll talk about three failures, if you like, things we don't understand. Why did anything form? Why is there structure in the universe? Why is there matter rather than antimatter? And the biggest uncertainty or puzzle or un unsolved mystery of all, why did the Big Bang happen in the first place? Before we do that, we'll need to start off with a bit of the physics of expanding space. So I'll start off talking about what it means for space to expand in a mathematical way. And I'm going to look at how density changes back in time in the Big Bang model. Then I'll talk about how the energy of particles change. And then armed with these three tools, we'll go on and talk about the two triumphs and the three mysteries of the Big Bang theory.